All right, ladies and gentlemen, as the members from Ide Bailey continue doing their work, I'll give you a little bit more background on them in just a moment. But first, I'd like to welcome you all to the Adams County Government Center for today's marijuana industry lot drawing. I'd like to introduce County Attorney Heidi Miller and our Director of Planning and Development, Avel Montoya, to you. My name is Jim Seidlecki. I am the Director of Public Information for the county. And the two members from Ide Bailey, the independent accounting firm, Dave DeZutter and Paul Kane, are currently dropping all of the tickets into those hoppers. Before we get started with drawing tickets, it's important that we point out that this is not a forum for any Q&A. If you have any questions following the lot drawing, we encourage you to contact the county's planning and development department, 523-6800, the number's on our website. As how this is going to unfold, as most of you recall, the Board of County Commissioners adopted the regulations that were proposed by the county's planning and development department during a December public hearing. Those include a limit of 10 marijuana establishments through 2015. Those 10 facilities broken down to include three retail stores, three grow operations, three manufacturing facilities, and one testing facility. People interested in these business opportunities were restricted to applying for only one of the designated establishments. As required, all applicants dropped off their paperwork in person at the Planning and Development Department. Before leaving, each applicant was given one ticket with a number printed on it. At that time, the matching ticket was placed into the box that corresponded with the applicant's choice of establishment. Those were logged into our system as a safeguard in case an applicant misplaced a ticket. On Thursday, January 22nd at 4 p.m., that application process was closed and those tickets were secured. Those tickets were later turned over to the accounting firm Ide Bailey. They have independently verified that there was a ticket for each applicant and that each ticket matched the corresponding number on the application. When the accuracy of that process was confirmed by Ide Bailey, the tickets were placed in a secured container. Dave Zutter from Ide Bailey has dropped the tickets in, along with Paul Kane, into the corresponding hopper. We will later give them a spin and select the tickets. For retail stores, grow operations, and manufacturing facilities, 15 tickets will be selected. The first three tickets pulled from each hopper will have the opportunity to apply for a license through the state of Colorado and all necessary Adams County permits. If for any reason these first three applicants fail to receive their license by 4 p.m. on July 31st of 2015 or cannot proceed for any reason, the person holding the fourth ticket selected will be contacted, then have six months to apply for a license and any necessary permits. If your ticket is selected, you must also have all necessary permits through the county, and you can talk to the Planning and Development Department about that. You're good. Each applicant will have six months from the date they are selected to secure these licenses and permits. That process will repeat as necessary until the number of applicants that have received their licenses matches the established cap for that specific establishment in 2015. For the testing facility, we will draw a total of five names, one applicant, and four runners-up. Just a couple of other items here before we get started. It's important to remember that these are not transferable. If your ticket is pulled, your name has to be associated with the name on the original application that was filed here in Adams County, and you must be associated with a license that is issued through the state of Colorado. Your presence here today is not mandatory. Finally, this is worth repeating. If your ticket is pulled today, you have only earned the right to apply for a permit through the state and the licensing through the state permits through the county. As we begin the lottery process, we'll use this order. We'll start with testing, then move on to manufacturing, then grow operation, and finally retail stores. As mentioned, Dave DeZutter from Ide Bailey is going to draw five tickets. The first ticket will represent the applicant who will have the first opportunity to receive their permit through the state for testing. Dave, go ahead and give it a spin, and we'll start with testing facilities. Again, we're drawing five here. The first one drawn is the applicant. All right, I have agreed not to touch any tickets, but the gentlemen have closed and spun the hopper a few times. All right. All right, go ahead and pull our winner. And the winner will be placed here on the overhead, so you'll be able to see it as well on either of these. And allow... Paul to write the number one on the back. He'll place it up here for everyone to see. And if you're listening, it is 0, 1, 
eight zero zero four. Again, zero one eight zero zero four. All right, now we'll pull four reserved tickets. This is again for the testing facility. The second number is zero one eight zero zero six. Zero one eight zero zero six. Zero one eight zero one three. Fourth, zero one eight zero two eight. And the final testing reserve ticket is zero one eight zero zero nine. So just to repeat, the first ticket, zero one eight zero zero four, will be the applicant for testing. Moving on to manufacturing at this point, again, we are selecting three applicants here. Manufacturing, we are going to select three applicants and then 12 reserve tickets. So the first three will all be allowed to apply for a state license and any necessary permits through Adams County. And of course, four through 12 will serve in a reserve role. All right, gentlemen, we ready to give that one a spin? The hoppers aren't as tight. Don't worry, they're all going back in there. No worries. <laughs> I'd Bailey did not provide the hoppers. Okay. Well, they're not ours either. It makes you feel any better. Now you got the hang of it. All right, our first in manufacturing. Still with uh, cultivation or grow operation and stores to come. The first is 156127. 156127. The second drawn, 156087. 156087. Third, 156132. One five six one three two. The fourth selected one five six one two eight. The fifth ticket one five six one three six. One five six one zero one. One five six zero five three, and the eighth ticket one five six zero five nine. All right, we'll now select nine through fifteen. Nine is one five six one one eight. One five six zero oh, six four zero six four. One five six zero six five. One five six zero five seven is the twelfth ticket, and the final three, the thirteenth ticket one five six zero four one. The fourteenth ticket is one five six zero six two, and finally the fifteenth. Ticket is 156173. We have our 15 manufacturing tickets. Those have all been independently numbered and recorded, both visually and through audio, and we will make sure and uh, notify those folks. If you are holding a ticket and not present today, don't worry, our planning and development department will reach out to you. Yes. One, if your ticket was pulled today, either as the applicant or as the reserve, you will be contacted and notified of your standing.
I know I said no Q&A, but that was all right. We're all right. Okay. We're all right. No problem. Now on to grow operations. And we're giving it a spin here. Cultivation, grow operation, call it what you want. We're going to pull 15. First three will be the applicants. And again, we'll have 12 reserves. Number one on the uh, grow operation coming up on the board. And uh, the first ticket drawn, and this will be the first applicant. And that number is tough to see. So that's 435-6210. 435-6210. The next is 435-6387. The first reserve ticket, 435-6078. The fifth ticket drawn is 435-6172. The sixth ticket, 435-6100. 435 6100. The seventh ticket is 435 6068. The eighth ticket selected is 435 5899. 435 5899. On to the ninth. The ninth ticket selected 435 6314. 435 6314. The next, the tenth ticket, 435 6247. The eleventh ticket is 435 6260. Waiting for someone to yell bingo. All right, there, there's usually one in every group, right? The twelfth ticket, 435 6169. Let me get these into the few. Thirteenth ticket, four three five five nine eight four. Fourteenth ticket, four three five six two eight three. And the final ticket in grow operation for today is four three five six zero five one. All right, that'll do it. Have a great day. <laughs> what? No was just a joke. We're, of course, doing retail stores next. Retail stores will follow the same pattern. We will do the first three, which will be the applicants again. The applicant is guaranteed nothing other than the opportunity to apply through the state, through the county, for all licenses and permits necessary to operate a marijuana facility recreationally in unincorporated Adams County in 2015. If there are any questions about how this plays out on the back side, please contact Avel Montoya's staff in planning and development. All right, we're on to the retail store. Do you remember off the top of your head how many retail stores we had? I know this was the largest. Michael's going to look that up for us because he's resourceful. How many? 852. It was 852. He, yeah, it was on the news release I wrote, but I don't remember that sort of stuff. I don't even remember what I had for dinner. All right, let's go. One, two, and three on the retail store. Good luck to everybody. I know there's a lot of entrants in this. 852, actually. Number one on the retail store. That is 5850296. 5850296. The next ticket is 5850026. 5850026. And we're on to the third. Retail store operation, 584-9889. Again, that's 584-9889. And as the process continues, a reminder that if for any reason one of the first three is unavailable or can 
not secure the permits, licenses, or withdrawals for any reason, we will move on to the reserves. And the first reserve will be ticket number four, and that reads 584-9720. 584-9720. The second reserve, 585-0239. And 585-0203 is the sixth. Again, you will be contacted if your number is drawn. 584-9850. Eighth ticket, 584-9581. 584-9581. The ninth ticket is 584 9995. 584-9995. The tenth ticket is 584-9981. 584-9981. I have this feeling I'm going to turn around, the whole place is going to be empty in a second. 584-9953 is the eleventh. On to ticket number twelve, and that is 585-0329. And rounding out our reserves will be number 13, which is 584-9576. Number 14, 584-9856. And the final ticket drawn today for the retail store, our final reserve spot, goes to 584 584- 9738. Again, if you are an applicant who had a ticket pulled, either as the applicant in the first three or the 12 reserves, you will be notified. If you have any questions about today's process, retail marijuana regulations, please contact our planning development department. It's 720-523-6800 or find us on the web at cogov.org. Thank you all for attending.